Hey everybody, this is Decepticon Doug. Thank you so much for watching today's video. So first I gotta say, sorry it's been so long. Um, I've been really busy. I, oh, oops, I'm tripping over things. Uh, I was moving. That was actually the big thing. Uh, it was a big move. Uh, it, was, it was all a smooth move. So this is sort of uh, Ali and me finding an apartment together and um, and yeah, that's kind of the big thing that's, that's uh, been sort of driving the last month or so. So I'm very behind on videos. I cannot wait to get back into making them. So this is my sort of welcome back video. Welcome back, Doug. Hey, thanks, Doug. I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you around because life is a changing and uh, I'll sort of show you the, get the, uh, the setup. Although um, the, the thing is there are still some boxes. There's still some boxes that's, that we're trying to figure out, still trying to figure out how to maximize the space fully, so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, here's the little entertainment setup here. Um, now, uh, everything's a little backlit because it's kind of right in the middle of the day, but uh, I got a switch, so that's pretty cool. That is a Smash Bros controller. And here's sort of my temporary gaming games collection setup. So there's the Super Nintendo games. The NES, Game Boy, N64, TurboGrafx-16, Sega Genesis, the box games are down here. Um, and then there's the mini consoles, except for the TurboGrafx mini console, which I have right here. It's being guarded by Unicron, so it's safe. Um, and then there's some books down there as well. The uh, consoles, I kind of kept the same way I had them before because that, such, that uh, setup really worked for me. So there's the GameCube, the N64. Um, <sighs> Uh, so the original Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, the Genesis. I'm hoping to upgrade the TV, although I'm, I'm worried about switching to a more modern TV, because this is good, um, but it's not, not a smart TV. Smart TV might be really nice to have, um, but then I worry about being able to connect all of my retro game consoles. I'd have to find another way to do that. Moving right along over here, it's really warm. Oh, by the way, yeah, it's, it's, we had a huge heat wave recently that just killed us. So I've got a lot of fans around, um, which are not going at the moment because it would cause too much noise. So this cluttered mess, <laughs> kind of, of, of awesome, is uh, our little wall, our nerd wall. So got my masterpiece Megatron and Optimus kind of out of, out of uh, hiding. There's Frank and the uh, all multi-tool from Mass Effect, some Lego Spider-Man stuff as well as the uh, some old school trailers that I have for my projectionist days, Children of Men, Dark Knight, District 9. Uh, my masterpiece collection, uh, unboxing soon, as well as some Lego and Bub and Bob. My um, DVDs, which, you know, looks a little cluttered, not gonna lie, but um, yes, I still have DVDs. Again, this is still sort of in the works, I would say as well as my, my vinyls. Uh, I, I'm keeping out a few CDs. I don't have anywhere to put my whole CD collection, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep out a few. And more vinyls. And basically the bottom is just more DVDs and vinyl kind of interspersed. I didn't want to have a whole shelf's worth of vinyls because I just was worried about it weighing things down too much. Spider-Man stuff, because as many of you know, I am a big Spider-Man fan, uh, as well as just some more miscellaneous thingies. Some OG Transformers, as well as these tigers, which follow me everywhere. Um, Spidey and Stan. So that's more or less the wall of nerdy stuff. Uh, it needs to be tidied up a little bit, but that's that's the, the prototype, we'll say. So I got my editing station all set up here in my room. Uh, it's still a little bit of a mess, but um, would you believe this is an improvement? Um, and. Uh, just a few cool pieces of art that I have to decorate the place in the meantime. Got my record player set up here, but unfortunately it is not working. So I have all my LPs just sitting there waiting to be played. I am going to have to get a replacement very soon. This thing is like 15 years old, so it's, it's seen a lot of action. It lasted a long time. And here's some other cool things that uh, just have hanging up. So this is when Allie and I met LeVar Burton and Marina Sirtis from Star Trek. That was from the last fan expo before everything closed down for COVID. So hopefully we'll get to see more people in the not too distant future. Oh, one more big life change. I got some kitties. 
Oh, oh right. there you go. So this is day one. Who am I opening up here? That's Rosa. Hi, Rosa. Hello, sweetie. And Hi, Charles. There's Charles. They're like, whoa, where are we? <laughs> hey, buddy. And Rosa. And, uh, they're, and they're off. <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> okay, well, I guess. And there you go. <laughs> there's I'm, a cat unboxing I, video. I don't even think I got a good shot of them at all. Like, I don't think it was a clear shot. This handsome gentleman is Charles. Hey, Charles. How you doing, you big silly boy? He is a lovey-dovey boy and very silly, aren't you? You're a very silly boy. Oh, hi. Want to have a look? Want to have a look? Hey, say hi to everybody. Yeah. He loves hugs. He loves snuggles. And he definitely loves to play in water. Where's your sister? we got to find your sister. This lady is Rosa. Hey, Rosa. 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 She's very good at ignoring me. Hey, Rosa. Hey, Rosa. Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. 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 Okay, well, that's what we're going to get so far. <laughs> so that is our little kitty unboxing and introdu introduction. They're, they're very nicely settled in now. Um, they're doing really great. Um, and we're loving having them here. Ellie and I are just super thrilled with our kitties. So, um, that's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Hang tight. We love you. Goodbye.